So in customer router one. Show IP route at the moment shows us that we only see connected and local routes in the routing table. So IP route, default route looks like this. Next hop is going to be 8810.1. So show IP route now shows us that we've got the default route in the routing table. We now need to ping the Google DNS server, which is 8844. So ping 8844. Let's see if that works. Yes, it does. So that's good. We also need to ping cisco.com, but that means we need to configure the name server to be the DNS server. So 8844, and hopefully now we'll be able to ping cisco.com, which we can. In this packet tracer lab, it's resolving to the same IP address as the Google DNS server, but that's okay. It proves that we've successfully configured things properly in our lab. I'll save my configuration. Again, for the exam, you're going to want to use copy running config startup config. For the real world, we'll use this command because it's a lot shorter. Something similar needs to be done on customer router 2. So show IP route. No static route is shown in the routing table. No gateway of last resort. So IP route, create a static default route pointing to 8811.1. So show IP route again. Notice the gateway of last resort has been configured. We've got a static default route or candidate default route in the routing table. So we should be able to ping Google, which we can. Notice we won't be able to ping cisco.com because we don't have a name server configured. So IP name server 8844 ping cisco.com that now works. So we've completed the required tasks in this lab. How did you do? Were you able to get the lab to work? Were you able to successfully complete the lab? Now I'm going to show you how to complete the bonus tasks, which makes the lab more real world. Well, well.